What's going on you guys? It's your favorite piano teacher, Mike Esfahani, here with a tutorial on Don't Wanna Be Me by King Vaughn. Big shout out to YBUL and It's Breezy for the song request. Thank you guys so much. If you have any requests of your own, please make sure to leave them in the comments. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Make sure, to, <laughs> I keep saying make sure, make sure to stick around for this whole video because as you'll see, I'll make sure that the keys will light up, <laughs> the notes will be labeled, and I'll give you some strategies to learning this song more efficiently. A little bit of a challenge. You can do this, but you have to start slowly. Let's talk about the left hand first. It's a little bit weird. It won't sound anything like the song yet. Bear with me. You got an F, octaves, two Fs at the same time, fingers five and one. Then jump up here. This is an A flat, finger number two, a G, and then an F. And then do that again. That, those three notes are gonna come back over and over again. So listen, F, those three notes. Pause, the three notes. Now down to C, the three notes. Pause the three notes. Here to D flat, back to the three notes. Then down to C again, and the three notes. Rest, three notes. So that little break in sound, that's called a rest. So you wanna make sure that you're silent there. Let me play the left hand for you without stopping very slowly. It's gonna take a little bit of practice to make that leap, but you have to do it with your left hand alone because your right hand's got its own thing to do. Let me show you that left hand one more time, this time with a pedal. Basically, you wanna pedal about once for every motion your left, uh, for all the, I should say, big octaves your left hand makes. Hold the pedal down, or excuse me, it starts on F. The... And one last thing too, if you can, it's very, very important that you give a little bit of emphasis, emphasis, can't talk, emphasis to the octave notes, but play those three notes that keep returning very softly. So anyway, that's the left hand. Let's talk about the right hand. The right hand just has a C here and then Here's the thing, you've got a B flat followed by two C's as an octave like this. So just get comfortable doing that first because it's very rapid, back to almost at the same time, like that. Then B flat with finger four, three on A flat. Move your hand so that you play C and G at the same time. And fortunately the song gets easier from here on out. C and E flat. C and D flat, this part's a little bit weird. Play the D flat louder than the C if you can. C and F, a C by itself, and then C and G at the same time. <clears throat> so here's that right hand without stopping. Okay, so now let's line it all up together. How does it go? Lining it up isn't so bad. Here we go. So, I'll go real slow. And 
and then it just loops around. Pretty cool, right? So as you get more and more comfortable with it, keep looping it around and just get faster and faster and faster as you get more comfortable. When I practice this before the tutorial, I use a metronome to help me. By all means, you should too. So watch, I'll show you again. getting a little bit sloppy here, but with practice, I promise you can pl play better, and I promise that you can play better than me too. So, it's your favorite piano tutorial. <laughs> this better be your favorite piano tutorial on it. It's the only one on YouTube. It's your favorite piano teacher. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Signing off. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.